Hey guys, real quick, making a video about parasites. Here's my cooler that I left two items in here. One of them was a bag of dates that had our plums that have preservatives on it. I'm gonna throw it away, um, but um, it seems to be pretty much uh, you know intact. It has the preservatives in there, so obviously the chemicals killed off um, the parasites. But obviously, if the chemicals kill off the parasites, then the chemicals are going to kill off us. And that's why we say, um, you know, eat your eat your whole foods, um, really organic as possible. But that doesn't mean that they don't have parasites. Every living organism has parasites in them. And the, what a parasite is is it is an organism that lives inside of another organism and feeds off that organism. Now, I just want to show you, before this ice chest was um, filled with organisms or parasites, right? It was, you know, it was, it was cleaned out. And then my wife added some things into it. I ate most of it out of it. And um, I was just left with a bag of uh, sunflower seeds. And like I said, those plums that I didn't eat because, you know, I just didn't like the plums like that, you know, with all the preservatives on it. But um, where did the parasites come from? It didn't come from the preservative. The bag was closed. It was, these were, and there's some water in here, obviously. So I don't know where the water came from. But um, as you can see, we have, uh, these are sunflower seeds. They're a little wet. You can, if you get close, um, you can see some critters. I can't see any more, but I saw them earlier. The critters were just crawling around, right? Um, so it's important to understand that, you know, parasites are not only in meats, even though, yes, meats have a lot of parasites, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's an organism itself, it's, a, it's meat, you know, there's so many parasites, and then in the, the meat, the thing that ate the actual meat, I mean, the thing that ate the actual food brought in more parasites. So meat is gonna have a lot of parasites in it. Um, so how do you get rid of parasites? Because parasites, you know, they wanna eat and whenever you wanna eat, it makes you, the, the organism that it's feeding off of, look at that right there. I don't know if you can see anything moving. I, I, I let that down. Get that along. I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, yeah, it's down there. It's definitely moving. Um, be aware of parasites. You know, obviously, my approach is eating less. You know, eating less, and that's going to take care of the majority of your, your worries as far as health, um, the state of your health. But, um, you know, right now, we're eating a lot, right? We're eating a lot of food. Uh, excuse me. We're eating um, fruits. You know, that's the new age. We came from a standard American diet where we're eating your normal breakfast. We're eating food from the dollar store. We're eating all types of things, but we're not adding any fruits or vegetables into it. So we left that lifestyle. That's where, that's where the shift is coming. The shift is coming where we're leaving that lifestyle of where we're eating so much unhealthy options and for the people that are really crushing it i mean where i mean the majority of our meals are um raw apple or oranges a whole bunch of oranges grapes uh, melons whenever they're out and, and a bunch of mangoes you know we're trying to eat your healthier grains uh, those especially that a doctor said be recommend right Make sure y'all stay out the street. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't go in the street. There's cars. All right. So. Yeah, especially the grains that a doctor said be recommended. So. We're eating healthier, but people aren't talking about the fact that even though we're eating healthier, that these foods still have parasites in them. You know, we don't want parasites in our body because the parasites grow 
and um, they feed off of us, you know, they, they, whatever it is that those parasites want, it's, it's what we're going to want to eat, so that's why it's very important to really be selective about what you're eating, and um, if there's no need to eat, don't eat, you know, that's the next, um, that's the next step, you know, you got your, you got, you got your standard American diet to uh, vegetarianism to um, to veganism, from veganism to a whole food plant based diet. Because remember, veganism is still standard American. It's just veganism. And vegetarianism is still standard American. It's just vegetarianism. There's still Pop Tart, Fruit Loops, corn syrup, corn, um, you know, uh, McDonald's fast food and things like that. It's just vegan and vegetarian options, right? Still. It still has your 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 table salts, your um, your hydrogenated oils, your 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 corn oils, and um, you know you have your sugars. You know your sense of sugar, especially your white sugars, uh, but even just your sweeteners in general, right? Come here. Ugh. So um, I gotta get my son I'm trying to walk out of the street. Yeah, but um. So the more we get rid of those things, you know, we let those options be a, a smaller percentage of, of what we put in our bodies to get healthier. But then there's a the next level. And there are so many people that are coming out. There are many people that are focusing on it. Um, and it's not just fasting. You know, fasting is awesome because you give your body the opportunity to enter a stage of autophagy. And, um, but, um, just moving into a lifestyle of eating less, not eating so much, not eating to the point of, oh, I'm just doing this because it doesn't hurt. Because it really, it really, it does. Because the body is is self sufficient. You know, we only need so much. You know, and our body stores it, and our body can continue to break down those. Um, I guess you can call them proteins or food or energy stores, right? Our body stores them. And then whenever we remove uh, the food from coming in, our body, like I said, after about 12 to 15 hours or two days, um, enters enters the stage of what you call autophagy. And autophagy is when the body goes into, uh, two, it has two major functions, which is one, nutrient recycling, right? The nutrients that are dormant in there, the body breaks them down. Uh, sends them back to the liver in the form of amino acids, then the body reuses them as energy. And two, uh, cellular uh, elimination, where basically your body is breaking down and busting down the waste. It can finally break down the waste. You know, these are two things that we see happening in the body whenever we uh, um, have cellular starvation or the body is uh, basically, uh, we stop feeding, um, um, uh, we start feeding our cells external sources and our body begin to break down the waste and use the internal sources or sources that has already been stored in the body, right? And uh, we get a lot of great results from that. We feel better. Um, we have more mental clarity or in other words, more brain power. Our immune system um, is boost. Um, we're, able, we're able, because our body is, is cleaning ourselves, we're able to, uh, if you see that sun in the background, we're able to assimilate more sunlight which then again is, is making us even that much more stronger as we're feeding off the sunlight just so much more happens whenever we're eating less so um and we're and we're we're getting rid of these uh, uh these, these parasites you know over time we're getting rid of the parasites but there are things that we can do to actually aid uh getting rid of the parasites uh, you know you have uh different parasitic cleanses out there you know and some of, some of the herbs that you would use are like cayenne pepper, a, a worm word, a w w worm wood, uh, things like that. And you can do more research on that. Um, Dr. Morris has um, um, a tea and herbal compound. Dr. Sebi has an herbal compound. Um, Mahat Ma Duhudi has compounds, and they're very intense, uh, but it works, you know, and you just got to stick to it and um, watch these parasites come out of your body. You want to get them out of your body so that they don't control you and you control, you know, you control what it is that you desire. So I wanted to get that out. Peace, love, happiness, and wellness.